is a Rolex. It's a brand that speaks for itself. The particular model is the Sky Dweller. The two-tone Sky Dweller. Two-tone means it's a combination of steel and gold. Completely covered it with diamonds. We added, in some places, added gold to the parts so we could add even larger diamonds to the watch. Every single part of the watch that we could possibly put diamonds in without messing it up, we did. Now this is something for someone that's really into the look. There's mixed reviews about whether this makes sense or not because some people feel funny about drilling holes into a watch. Rolex does diamond watches and they do something similar. We just add extra diamonds to it for someone that wants to push it to the next level. We're gonna compare it to another one here which is a different brand. This AP is the Royal Oak, two-tone, which is rose gold and stainless steel. The Royal Oak, what's really unique about the way that we did this one here are these step-cut diamonds in the rose gold links where my tweezers point. The is a very classy date function and the back is a skeleton back, so it's see-through. You get to see the mechanism and movement now we can compare the Sky Dweller's depth with the Royal Oak AP. It's a little bit more of a refined watch, not as wide from the, um, from the top to the bottom. You see the difference? Doesn't the uh, Rolex depreciate if you put diamonds inside? Depreciate in value. So, you, yeah. so there's that's a, a lot of people have an opinion that if you add diamonds to a Rolex, it will actually be worth less. Let me ask you a question. Let's slow down and think about this. When West Coast Customs customizes a Honda Civic and puts some crazy idea like a popcorn maker in the trunk, is that car worth less or more? I would think it's worth more. We wouldn't do anything to a watch to make it worth less. You're adding diamonds to something, it ends up being worth more. A pawnbroker might give you uh, some BS information, try to buy it back at a lower price. But there's so many diamonds in the ring, how could it, in the watch, how could it be worth less? You're getting the watch and the diamonds. It's just a matter of supply and demand. If less people want it or if that pawnbroker is in a market where people don't want to bust down the iced out watch, then maybe to him it's worth less. But if you go to places where everyone wants it iced out, then guess what? All the work is already done and it's worth more. And that's for the uh, AP as well? Any watch, anything you customize becomes unique. If I would use, let's say, fancy yellow diamonds in it, it becomes a very unique piece that not, not too many people have fancy yellow diamonds in the yellow gold part of the watch. Very common is the watch that has just uh, diamonds in the bezel, right? You can get two bezels. You can take your original bezel out, pay for a new bezel that you're gonna ice out, keep your original bezel, and if you ever, ever, if you ever wanna revert to the plain Jane look, you remove your diamond bezel and put your original back in. Put your original bezel back in and um, there's no difference. Same thing with the dial. These are parts that can be switched back and forth. Rolex Sky, two-tone, two-tone rose gold, Royal Oak AP, Olama Piquet. You wanna know prices? I'm gonna put out promotional prices to someone that visits the store and mentions the video. That's the only way you're gonna get this deal, okay? So we're gonna do 52K for the Sky, for that. And we're gonna do 65 for this, the AP. 52, 65, put that up on the screen. And write in really small letters, promotional, must show this video at showroom.